The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Radio Global, Who New Productions, JSA Media, and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Your host, Joe Rocks. to this um, system here, um, you know, we're on, we're on camera, and uh, I'm just trying to, like, you know, my coach is not here right now, I think he fell off, fell out somewhere, but anyway, uh, tonight we have um, uh, a very, very talented woman, um, uh, and singer, uh, well as entertainer, uh, Kimberly Covington will be here in a little while, I believe, uh, and she's over in France, so she'll be ca- dialing in shortly. Um, actually, in France right now, it's probably like 3 o'clock in the morning, I believe. I'm not sure exactly, but, you know, we just want to catch up a, little, a few things with her and um, stuff like that. She has great music, and also uh, her um, her music, um, a lot of her songs are playing on the um, radio um, mix platform, so you can check check her out. Um, she's, a, she's, a, um, she's an unbelievable talent. This is coming from... Great talk. You have a caller. <laughs> to accept the call, press 1. Okay. For more options, press stop. Hello, caller. Hello? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, this is Robert Kaplan from Venice, Florida. How are you? Good, good, oh, good, good, Robert. Um, but unfortunately, right, um, Kimberly gave you the wrong number um, per usual. Oh. Yeah, per usual. But that's that's just the way, the way she is. But, uh I, I, this number is, um, but I guess you can hang here for a difference. It's a phone. What? It's a phone. What the hell's the difference? What number he calls? Because because uh, the other Kimberly is calling from France, and this is this phone line's dedicated to her. See, if Kimberly gave her the right number, which I told it to, right? The other Kimberly, right? Kimberly, you see it right in front of you with the yellow number, the yellow thing where it says it, "Attention, please." No, Kim- I don't yeah, see Kim- it. Kimberly, Kimberly in Oklahoma gave me this number. Yeah, she gets excited. Every, you know, she gets excited a couple minutes before the show. She she gets like, you know, she gets like all frazzled. <laughs> well, know. I got okay. frazzled. I got frazzled trying to learn how to get into the system. It's very my computer. I, I, yeah, no, I mean to be honest with you, it's very, very easy. Um, I don't know why everybody has a problem with it. Um, my um, my good He's brother. He's having computer problems, so. No, you don't. No. I, he has computer problems, and so does Jimmy. Maybe they should get it, go down to uh, Best Buy and buy, you know, get their computers oh, fixed. Uh, I, I mean, well, that's what I'm doing Sunday. So I'll have my computer cleaned up and ready to. Kimberly's going to help me lead through the program again, uh, so I can have it done, ready, done for the next show on Thursday. So I, I, so. I yeah, I, I assume that um, Kimberly gave you the. Um, um, <sighs> No, what number she found it on Facebook. Um, I found it on Facebook under Excuse me. Orange Radio oh Global, God. like you told me. I, I asked Brady, I'm sorry. No, it doesn't no, I'm sorry. Been, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I've I've been talking. I I've been talking all day. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, uh, I've been delegating all. I've been delegating all day. You know, well, you know, so you, you're, you're a better delegator than me because I can't even delegate phone numbers. Um, you know, I I I, I, uh, I specifically told Kimberly to. You know, it's on the uh, night talk page in big yellow. It says attention, please, and you know, um, right? Yeah, did you call that number? So can, so I sent it to her. No, so that's what I'm asking. What is the correct number then? Uh, see, I can't. I don't know. Kimberly knows because she's, you know, she's like a, a you know, um, uh, she's, you know. Do you want me to call Robert, her? Robert, you want, Robert, Robert, hang see, up. You, would you Robert, like hang me to, up. Would you like me to call her back? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Kimberly, Robert. you know, I, you know, you could be the next president of the United States. So, hold on. Uh, actually, I'd like to, have, you know, maybe drive you around in your in your limousine. But hang on one second, Kimberly. What do you want me to do? 
Kimberly. Robert, hang up. I'm going to forward you the phone number, and you can recall back in. Okay, so Kimberly's going to re, uh, um, forward you the phone number, and you can recall back in on the on the on the main number. Okay. Uh, what is she going to re, re forward the phone number on? Uh, on question. Facebook. On, on Facebook, Facebook, she said Facebook. Bye. She, she's going to do it on Facebook. Yep. All right. Yep. Okay, I'll go in there right now. All right, Robert. Thank you so much. Appreciate right. it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So anyway, that was Robert. So anyway, that, all right. Tell Let's, me your name again. Uh, my name is uh, Joe Joe Rocks. Um, this is Night Talk with Joe Rocks, and um, he is um, Good Night Hollywood. And um, Kimberly does all the political and, and military um, interviews, um, and you know he's going to bring you in uh, later on. Um, and uh, you know, oh, okay. uh, get some insight on, on on where you're going, what you're doing, stuff like that, that type of thing. So, um, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm glad to help you guys out. In appreciate way. it. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an easy guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, so Bye, I'm Rob. Rob. But, 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 hang up and call. Yeah. So Florida <laughs> politics is Hi, very hot. It's very. Let's put it this way. Florida Florida politics gave me tough skin. Right. No, so now, that, now, now I'm a mean, now I'm a mean bastardo. That's awesome. So um, if you can, if you can just hang up and then call back, um, uh, Kimberly's uh, uh, doing your um, thing, right, Kimberly? Kimberly. I just said it to him. Hi, Robert. Yeah. Hang up. Excuse me. So, All right, let me go into I'll go into Facebook and I'll get the number and I'll dial in. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I just got, you know, I just got something called call. Okay. All right, Robin. We'll see you in a few minutes. I, uh, I'll talk to you later. All right. You take care of yourself. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. So anyway, that was that was actually Robert Kaplan, and uh, he's um, taking uh, uh, he's running for uh, Marco Rubio's um, spot, and um, I don't even know Marco Rubio is he a senator or something like that in Florida. No, he's I'm, not a oh, senator am I, yet. Am I still Robert, on? Robert, hang yeah. up the phone. So Kimberly's yelling oh, at you I'm now, not. and she's gonna start yelling at me, and that's the, that's really Robert. Hang yeah. up the phone. So Robert, I she wants you to hang up. And then call on the other. Phone. I try. I'm trying to, but I, I for some she was calling me and I couldn't. I yeah, couldn't. Yeah, he um, said he can't. He can't. You know, disconnect. He, he, she's got to. She, she's got to. She's got to. She's got to hang up so I can hang up. No, I no. I, 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 well, let me see what I could do. I mean, I don't like to hang up on people because I, you know, I, I, you know, I mean, do I have to do Joe, that? Hang I, up the phone. She gave, she, she gave me. Get, Robert, hang up. The number one two six seven nine three zero four thousand. Okay. And then, oh, hold on. Okay. And then I gotta, I, I gotta follow the code. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's exactly right. All right, oh. thank you. All right, Robert, you take Bye-bye. care of yourself. So anyway, that was <laughs> sorry about that. That was Robert um, Kaplan, and he's actually running for um, Marco Rubio's Rubio spot uh, in uh, Florida for the. Uh, he's running for senators, I believe, uh, in Florida. Um, is that right, Kimberly? Yes, he's yes. Uh, one of eleven that's running. Yeah, so this he, eleven. And, uh, he, yeah. He's a writing candidate, and he has eighteen percent of the votes right now. Oh, awesome! That's very really good. So, um, he, we'll be hearing from him a little bit later. Uh, we're waiting for um, for Kimberly uh, uh, Covington to call in. Actually, she uh, um, is. It is three o'clock in in France, and uh, she is. Be sleeping still, or maybe she took a nap and stuff. I really don't know what's going on, but in the meantime, um, we'll 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 you know we'll just carry on with what's going on here. Anyway, um, first off, um, Kimberly's with us tonight, uh, as well as Matt and Jimmy, um, and um, we're broadcasting on um, UStream, I believe. Yes, right, yeah, we should be because the camera's up, and uh, you are recording the show on 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 um, TuneIn, right, Jimmy? Jimmy, yeah. yeah. So uh, again, great job, Jimmy. Appreciate that. You know all your hard work that you do um, to, um, you know, um, engineer night talk. That's that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> you know. Um, but anyway, that's what we're doing here. Um, also, uh, I just want to mention um, um, Joyce uh, Joyce's hair salon at one twenty three um, Berry Street in uh, Everett. Check them out. Um, they, she did a great job on, on myself as well as uh, Dina Catulli, um, uh, you know, this week, this past week. And uh, she's a, she's a f- fantastic hairdresser. Now, I want to address um, all the other uh, producers with the exception of Kimberly. Um, uh, 
typically we have um, our you know our you know style tips and and all these wine things and so on and so forth every week but unfortunately um all the producers were late in sending the stuff to me this week so um that will be going into the radio feed and i'll feed them into our social media platform um shortly it's summertime and everybody's kind of you know they like to stay out late and stuff like that so that's basically what what's what's going on um and we, I, I had the uh, pleasure of uh, meeting, um, you know, um, Veronica Avlov um, um, this week, uh, and um, she'll be coming on to the show probably next week or the week after. And uh, she is the uh, MILF of the Year 2013, and she's Best Supporting Actress 2015 um, in, in a porn. Uh, so, she, you know, she'll, she'll be coming on and, um, you know, telling about her, what she's doing and things like that. Uh, you know what a, a, a MILF is, don't you, Jimmy? I know what it is. A what? A MILF. A MILF? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, so she'll be coming on in the next couple of weeks, and uh, we'll be uh, you know, we'll looking forward to that. Um, and, all, you know, we have all kinds of guests here and stuff like that. So, But anyway, uh, any plans for the weekend, you guys? We're going to hang out at our pool and drink and watch fireworks. <laughs> Well, um, the thing about fireworks is in Boston, uh, this might be the last year of the fireworks for, for Boston because um, they don't have any sponsors for that. Um, and um, typically to put on a, a fireworks display in uh, Boston, it costs around $2 million. And so the person who started the, the fireworks display is going to um, pay it for it out of his pocket of $2 million for the fireworks display for the city of Boston and all the people, all the spectators. And so... Um, it's really, really, um, I mean, it's been around for, I think, 40 years, and uh, it's a real, real good uh, good display. I don't know if, you know, Jimmy, I don't know if you've ever seen it. Have you seen it, Jimmy? What display? Fireworks. Where? Um, I don't know. What would you say? Boston? Salem High? No, Boston. No, I haven't seen fireworks in a while. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Jimmy doesn't get out much, and that's what happened. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, the, fi- the Boston Fireworks, Jimmy, just so you know, is very, very famous. You know, I mean, it, they're actually televised on TV, uh, so you can actually tune into them. Um, what are you talking about, the Esplanade? Yeah, the Esplanade. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go there. It's a joke. Uh, well, okay, why are you? They, they got ten cops to every person. It's stupid. Okay, well, I mean, don't you like to see children uh, happy and stuff like no, that? No, and who takes the kids out at nighttime? To, to see fireworks? I mean, that's the only time. <laughs> I've always see... done that. Yeah, I've I always mean, done that with my kids. That's the only time you can see fireworks, Jimmy, is at nighttime. Kids should be sleeping. Well, do you put your children to bed that, that, you know, that early? I have none, so I wouldn't know. Liar, liar. <laughs> You got he he, he probably has many he doesn't even know of. Yeah, Don't no be kidding. Lying. Yeah, he's a sperm donor. Um, speaking about sperm donors, um, uh, you know Richard Gere. Uh, maybe you can answer this, uh, Kimberly. Richard Gere is married to a fifty-seven-year-old woman, a fifty-five-year-old woman. And he's sixty-six, and he wants to get divorced. Uh, and he he wants to get divorced so bad because he wants to be with this girlfriend. She's from she's Spain. She's, from, she's actually from the country of Spain, and he wants to pay his wife um, two hundred and fifty million dollars to get divorced. Now, what would you do in a case like that, you? Well, if he wants to get divorced, there's nothing that's going to stop him. So just do it. I mean, you can't make well, you someone can, stay you with you. Can get divorced if you want to. He wants to go on the fast track to get a divorce, is what I'm trying well, to say. Well, he's going to get it one way or the other, or just to be like, see you later, you're lost. Oh, would you, I mean, once you feel, you know, like slighted, like, you know, you know, of like. Of course I feel slighted. My first husband cheated on me, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bob. Yeah, but that, that's Did kind you of. You get pers- $250 no. million? Yeah, but no, I that- didn't go. No, I got, I got screwed, and he was a Navy SEAL, so no. I really got screwed. Well, uh, no, but that's kind of personal stuff. You know, I mean, we, we like to keep everything light here. Anyway, uh, you, so you didn't get $250 million? No, I did no. not get two hundred. I wouldn't be here if I did, would I? Uh, yeah, I would be. Well, I, that's like, a, I would. That's, yeah, that's not nice to say, Kimberly. You know, that's, that's what it would be a Kimberly show. I would be show. here. That's what I just said. Yeah, Actually, yeah, yeah. money yeah. is not that important to me. Uh, well, yeah, you know, typically money is not important to people with money, right? I mean, that's just a fact. 
you know what I mean? Like, do, like me and Jimmy, money's important to us, right, Jim? Jim? He's probably Jim's out getting him. a freaking buy right no, now. He's probably, yeah, he's probably. Actually, to, and, you know, speaking about Jimmy, um, what about those people in Florida that that had um, $14 million in Home Depot um, plastic barrels in their attic? Did you read about That's that? That's a little bit crazy. No, I didn't see that article. 14 million barrels? No, $14 million in, in, in uh, they had a million dollars in each barrel, you know, those little orange barrels. That are oh, barrels. okay. What if the house burned down? Yeah, that is kind of stupid, but it was in Florida, and uh, they grow, they, I guess they they did it with pot and stuff like that, but, you know. Oh, illegal. Uh, okay. Entrepreneurs. No, but I mean, I look, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, the problem with that kind of money is how can you even spend it, right? Yeah. How, they, fo- how they found it? Who told them? Uh, they were raided. They were raided. Oh, were... okay. But I mean, how can you spend that kind of money? Fourteen million dollars. You can't buy anything with it, right? I buy. But then ask you how it. you got your money. Well, I mean, you know, you can't go buy a house with you know cash. It's all cash. You can't walk up to uh, you know a realtor and say, "Here's a million dollars in cash." Can you do no, that? No, but I you mean... can buy a lot of Snickers. You could do that, I guess. You're hired yeah. shit. You buy a lot of Snickers. You could. I mean, they had a. You know, they had an okay house. It wasn't that fancy, but you know, um, they had a. Um, I guess you could put it through a business or something like that. I really don't know, but um, it was kind of like. Um, it's kind of like dumb that um, you know that that you know that that they had that kind of money in in those little buckets. It's just you know, I don't know. It's crazy. Um. Anyway, another thing is, um, I want to let you everybody know that Amy Shafalo has her show tonight at 11 o'clock on um, the Arm Radio Rock Decades platform, uh, so check her out, uh, Rock and Thrash Talk. I still don't know what thrash means. Do you know what thrash means, Jimmy, at this point? Uh, other than a whip? No, I'm just, I don't know. I don't even know what it means. Well, they have whip with uh, multiple strands, and you usually thrash people with it. Yeah, well, I mean... Um, I don't know. If, I don't. I personally don't think that Amy's into that. Um, but um, who knows? You know, she's also produced a. Uh, you never know after a bottle of wine. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, that's yeah. You're 100 percent right. I never even thought about that. Yeah, yeah. But I really don't think Amy's like that. You know, she seems kind of sweet. Um, but um, she also produced a movie with a. I, I believe she's she's one. She's a co-producer of a movie. Uh, it's called um, um, so, uh, Soul Cage. Uh, with um, that uh, the the woman brick breaker, um, so um, you can check that out. I believe uh, you know soon. Uh, you can actually get, she has a teaser um, that will be on the um, I, the night talk page. You can check check that out. I, she does a great job. Amy is involved with a lot of different uh, films and things, and so um, that's what she likes to do. And uh, I really don't know where that woman finds time to do all the things that she does. Um, also. Um, Sarah O'Rourke will be uh, will be here uh, in New York um, soon, uh, probably the end of July. Well, actually, I think it's around the twentieth of July. She'll be flying in with her group from uh, Models of Diversity, so she'll be here um, and she'll be chiming in. She might come up to Boston, uh, and uh, we'll, you know we'll, we'll, we'll be talking to her. Um, and who, who else? Oh, Cindy Hobbs is like I don't know what the hell happened to her. She's you know she's she's. Uh, She's just doing her thing, Cindy. Uh, and so, um, but she does a great job on her, her style tips every week, and um, she's also a good take, as well as uh, Dina and, and everybody else. Um, anyway, there was another another thing I want to talk about um, this week uh, with you guys, and I'm glad I have one, at least one woman I can I can bounce off of. Um, what do you think about those high-low dresses? I get a lot of uh, talk about those high-low dresses. I think they're cute. I like them. You do? Yes. Uh, I think they're hideous, to be honest with you. I, I think that any they look like the the fabric. Um, it, it doesn't look right to me. I mean, do you, I mean, well, they, you want they, it? in pageants, uh, a lot of the girls uh, wear them and things. I mean, I guess where you decides where you're going to wear it. Well, in pageants, maybe that's they're appropriate for pageants, but they're not appropriate for walk around town. I mean, it's just, they look they look kind of weird, kind of. You know, what I'm saying? I mean, I, that's just my own preference. A lot of I mean, girls at prom they wear them. Um, yeah, yeah, those are special events, though. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm talking about like everyday, wear, you know, going to work and stuff like that. That type of thing. It doesn't. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm. I'm, I'm You're old yeah. fashioned. Uh, hardly, <laughs> hardly. Yeah, okay. Uh, speaking about old fashioned, um, uh, what's his name? Um, 
um, the, the Jamie Foxx is going out with um, what's his name's uh, what's his name's wife, uh, which is um, uh, you know Tom Cruise's wife, Katie Holmes. Yes, I saw that. That's and not they, really a good she, match. Well, uh, yeah, and uh, anyway, he, she she he uh, he cheated on her, uh, but looking at her from uh, you know she hit the wall, you know on that that one. So she's you know. I don't. I don't. I really don't blame him. I feel. You know. I. I don't know. I just. And then. Um, you know. I. I, I talked about. Um, I mean. I read about. Um, uh, Bruce Jenner, uh, who is uh, Caitlyn. What's her name? Caitlyn. What? Caitlyn Jenner. Ka- uh, yeah. Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, she's wearing the gold. Uh, she. Uh, you know. Bruce Jenner wore the. Wore the. Uh, you know. He won the gold medals. for swimming. Medals. Gold medal. For, yeah. For, yeah for, and uh, now he, she's wearing that as a, like a like a like a, a necklace. I mean, I don't think that's really proud. Good. Real proud. Yeah. Really, really proud. The one one good thing about Caitlyn Jenner, though, or Bruce Jenner, or whoever you want to call him, it. Uh, He's confused. That's really not nice. That's not nice. It is. It's uh, truth. Uh, it's the truth. The truth yeah. hurts. Yeah. Well, I mean, he is a Trump supporter, though, Kimberly. That's the one good thing he's got going for him. Okay. A Trump supporter. Yeah, he's a Trump supporter. So he's going to bring the LGBT. That explains it. He's going to bring the LGBT um, um, people in with uh, with Trump, you know? And that's Kimberly's happy about that. He's going to need more than that. Think so? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, definitely. I don't know. Uh, so Coach is here right now, and uh, yeah. I don't know. What did you get? Second traffic? Oh, well, it's summertime. What the fuck's that mean? You, if it's yeah. summertime, you got a fucking sweatshirt on. Well, yeah, I just got out of the pool. The pool's open. I, had, I My company just left. So I, I apologize for being late. Folks. Yeah, I mean, everybody's, you know, everybody's like, you know. Where's ma- Coach? Well, yeah, everybody was asking for you. Well, not, not really, but they would, you know. <laughs> I heard that uh, everyone's referring to Trump now as Teflon Trump. He has a new nickname. Yeah, nothing. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Nothing sticks to him. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> nothing sticks to that guy. Yeah. Um, again, I don't know. Um, yeah, let me see. It's ten twenty-four. I don't. I don't know if uh, uh, Kimberly Covington overslept. She could have. Well, I was late myself. So yeah. I, uh, well, I, I had company. But, I apologize. Yeah. I mean, she. I apologize it's, to the, to apologize but it's, to it's, the it's not like Kimberly's. Covington is flying here. She just picks up no. the phone right, yeah, and I'm, calls. You know that's that's all she got to do. I'm, I'm I'm right next right? door, so I can't. Come uh, and you know I know she shared out everything, so I mean maybe she's almost up. So uh, if you do wake up, uh, Kimberly, um, we're, we'll we'll uh, we're here for a little while longer and uh, stuff like that. But anyway, we can uh, bring in um, um, Robert Kaplan. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Hello? God. Did you hear me talking <laughs> about you? Hello. Hello. Did you hear me talking about you, Kimberly? No. Oh, I thought you overslept. Uh, I, I thought you overslept. He did. He did. Uh, no, she didn't. She didn't. Uh, this is Kimberly. I, I know. I set my alarm at 3.30. Uh-huh. Um, I woke up my voice a little bit so I could, you know, yeah. I'm a little bit sexy on the phone. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, you sound great. Very, uh, you, very sexy. Yeah, you, you sound great. You sound great. You sound great. Thanks for calling in. I mean, this is this is really. Uh, uh, oh, no, I'm so happy to hear your voice. <laughs> yeah. No, this is incredible. Not for internet. Uh, yeah, no, this is this is incredible. I mean, it's really incredible. Actually, Kimberly is in France. Really? Yeah, she's in France, uh, and she yeah she's she's a uh, she's a uh, she's a She's an unbelievable performer. I, I, you know, I've been following a lot. Actually, Kimberly, a lot of her songs and things are on uh, the Arm Radio Global platform. Um, uh, you know, so she's, uh, you know, she's an incredible, incredible talent. And I always wanted to talk to her because I, um, you know, I just, you know, I, 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 you know, I, I read a lot about her, and um, you know, she, she does, she, uh, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, Kimberly, but I know that you do okay. gospel. You do some gospel, don't you? I grew up with my mom as a gospel singer. She had her own group, the Gospel X, 25 years. My fa- my great uncle, the founder of my church. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. That's where it all started. And so, in New Jersey. Uh, oh, that's awesome! And, and 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 you know, you 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 sing in multiple languages too. I mean, how how did you how did you accomplish that? That you know. So you know, um, my mother came from a huge family from Virginia. And they're a very close-knit family. And um, she said when I was born, uh, when people would come to the house, I always wanted to leave. 
I had like, you know, the little sex. Kim, do you want to go? And I always said yes. Right. Um, my aunt had, she was married to a military um, man and became a general. And so I was often at her house on the base. And I met a young guy who was French and black at one of the high school parties. That was the trigger. I also realized very young that I wanted to travel. And I had, uh, it was very easy for me to learn languages. And uh, that's how it all started. And uh, going to St. Bart's in Guadalupe, because I sang often there from being with Philadelphia International Records, I had a record out and the agent saw the video that I, that I did. The record didn't do a big success. It was called Night People. I would love to get my hands back on that. Um, it sent me to the Caribbean. And the people from Holland spoke five languages, wow. and I only spoke two, and I felt stupid, <laughs> wow. you know, I just said, wow, how can they do that, you know, how do, how can they process, you know, so many languages at the same time, and that became an interest to me, so with music, having the ear of a musician, and being in this environment of people that speak multiple languages, I just plugged in. I made mistakes. They laughed. They taught me. You know. Uh, you know what? You know what? Now, Joe, hmm. I dream in three languages. No, <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, you, you, because you, you. I, I know that you're with a, you're with a lot of. Um, well, you're with uh, Italian producers, right? Aren't you with uh, some? You know, you've been with Italian producers, right? You. Okay, I've been. Uh, uh, the the story is long. It, it hit with uh, street level. Um, my vinyl, uh, and um, I was in Singapore at the time before I did the rest. Um, street level, I was the next artist to come out. They did a rap song with Chicago Bears. Oh, okay, okay. yeah. Street level, you know, this was the bomb. Record was ready, I was ready. They were calling me in, okay, sell the great, you're next. Uh, the government stepped in and said, uh, you owe us 50% of the sales of the record because uh, Chicago Bears, they're, they're not in court about it. He closed the company. Huh. From that company, I went to, okay, I started with, uh, I was with Philip International, a couple records that didn't really hit hard. Um, I met the agent who took me to the Caribbean. Through her, I met my first husband, who was a bass player, who brought me to France. And then in France, Gloria Gaynor became my um, godmother. No kidding. Wow. Of my wow. first record. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Wow, that's unbelievable. That's, that's awesome. That's, that's incredible, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then I met um, another singer who had made, oh, you know, Born to be Alive? Yeah, song? Patrick Hernandez, yeah. yeah. Yep. I worked often with him. You did? My nope. what? Other, yeah. What? My, I did, there's so much, you know, the computer world, I really need to sit down with someone and get everything out that I've done. Because I, um, I do things, but I don't look back on them. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's not good. Because, you know, you have to be able to, to talk about what you've done. And that's, that's my bad side. I, I go for it, I do it, I get it done, and then I move on. Right. So, but to the guy in Terry Pastor is a friend of Patrick who wanted to be alive. Patrick took five minutes to write Born to Be Alive by the way. Wow. That's unbelievable. That was a, <laughs> that's a great song. At this time, that, that thing is timeless, too. I mean, you know, I don't know. You, you know, Born to Be Alive? No. no, he has a bad. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 you know, I mean, they're not Is music. That the people. same song I'm thinking of. Yeah, born to be alive, yeah. Patrick. Yeah, born, born to be yeah. alive. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, that's. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, I, 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 I like all genres of music, and so I mean, yeah, yeah, you span a lot of different genres. I mean, you, you do gospel, you do, um. You do uh, yeah. soul. You do R and B. You do also. Um, you also. Yeah. You also well, touched on. Yeah, I'm a live when I when I explain my show when I do in theaters because there are different aspects. There are the show in theaters and and then there are the shows that I do on you know uh, what you like uh, Piazza. Yeah. <laughs> I, I lose my English. Um, 
you know, when you do it in the, in the, in the city, on the, you know, what do you call that? You know, yeah. um, uh, when you're uh, outside. Oh, yeah I, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. I I, I, I don't know the exact word piazza. for it. Yeah, yeah, piazza. Yeah, exactly yeah piazza. Piazza, 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 yeah. I, I know what you okay. mean. Yeah. Okay, so so the theater shows go from live in them, a touch of gospel. Uh, if I'm in Italy, I'll sing a couple of classic songs, traditional songs, just to let them know that, you know, um, I appreciate and I also understand the culture, and, and it touches me. I can't sing something that I don't feel. Right. So, then I close it with Whitney Tina. That's the theater show. Mm-hmm. The disco shows are basically disco music, and that can be R&B, that can be pop, you know, yep. with a couple of dancers on stage, and, and then gospel is pure. Gospel is the heart. Gospel is where I come from. That's just gospel. But I have I have a question for you. You uh, you know I I know that you did some ambient music or um, lounge type music. Um, what happened? Yes. What, uh, uh, what happened to that? Can I ask about that? Or? No, it, it was the the you talking about the, the last video you saw? Uh, no, not that. Not not that specifically. It's called uh, now. I now I I, I you know I don't know hundred percent if I'm, I'm if I'm correct with this, but um, you did. Um, I think it's Y'all Love Your Soul or your, that one there um, with somebody from France. Is that Was that you or was that somebody else? Oh, oh, the, the, the disco album. No, I, well, I don't, um, I, don't, I don't really consider that disco, but yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, that one there. I know because you know what? In America, what we listen to... Um, that's ambient. It's that's, really... Yeah. Yeah, that's ambient. It's not the same. The market is not the same. No, mm-mm. No, no, that's lounge mm-hmm. music. Yeah, that's lounge music. That's but, right. But was that you though? All of it's me. Okay, so. And that's, that's, so what I, I you know and I, you know you don't have to answer me about anything that you don't you don't you don't want, but I want to know why, um, uh, you know, and I and, and I was told this um, that that particular um, DJ uh, he he does not he won't give uh, he he. He doesn't won't give you credit, and I know you had credit before, and then now the credit's gone. And what happened to that? What, what, what did you did you guys have a riff or what happened? What, 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 which which song are you talking about? Your love, your soul, that one there. Uh, your love. Uh, he wasn't a DJ; he was just a producer. Producer with a tonic or something. Are you talking about peace, love, and harmony? No, no, no. That no, that one, no, not that one. That not not that one. This other one. Um, uh, something tonic. He was in from France or something like that. Um, forget his. Uh, oh, yeah, you know it he's, has. He's still alive. Um, the I, I don't know. It's current. That, that this, is current. this is current. This is this is current. This is current. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh. The 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 remix that I did of. Uh, uh. Tell me why? Tell me why? Can, why can't we live together? That's that, what Timmy that, Thomas. That, uh, yeah, that was a remi- remix of Timmy Thomas, right? Timmy Thomas. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and all those songs, were, right, and I wrote, co-wrote some of those songs. This guy went through, uh, the company fell apart, and um, he went through some personal, personal things in his life. Ah, okay. Yeah. And that's why that stopped. Yeah. But, I mean, you did a great job with that song, um, you know, um, Why Can't We Live yeah, With but You? But you're right. It's not, it's, you know, and, and when I'm here, but when, I'm, when I'm home, I don't really, I'm not really like a black, people hear me sing, and if they close their eyes, they go like, but, you, but you're not really a black singer. <laughs> no. <laughs> because I'm mixed. Yeah, you have a wide I'm range. Mixed. I mean, that's what I'm saying. You have a wide range. I mean. Yeah, uh, but even the, the style of me is is really mixed, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm R&B, but I'm pop, but I'm rock. Yeah, that's what so I mean. It's you a heck of a thing going on in there. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 you know, and and I've seen some of her shows on YouTube. I mean, you know, I, uh, and she does a fantastic show. I mean, she's just, she's, just, uh, she's a class act. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. she's yeah, she's uh, she's. Uh, she's but did you know I'm Italian, Joe? Uh, I figured that. I have double nationality. I, I'm 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 a black Italian. No kidding, really. Well, then we, yeah. could, we, we could be related. Who knows? Right, you. We could be related. <laughs> no, I, you, you don't know. I mean, I, I, don't, I agree. Yeah, I, you know. if we can if we can take a trip to Italy, yeah. and I can take you like all over and introduce you to all my friends and people I've sang for, and and, the, and you, you, if you retrace your roots, we can even go to where you. Well, your family. Uh, so the problem that with that though, Kimberly, is I don't I don't really speak uh, Italian. 
So that's okay, but you got me. No, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I never thought about that. I never thought about that. Pay attention. Yeah, yeah. I never, I never thought about that. Yeah. But I mean, um, she she do, she does. I mean, uh, peace, love, and harmony. Um, she that that there was also playing on on the um, radio platform. I mean, uh, she's a fantastic, fantastic singer, man. I mean, it's just you know we you know I I, I, I love. There's lo- another one coming out soon, and it's called um, "Love Is Coming Down on Me," and it's a duo. And then now this is more of a song that's for America. Hmm. Yep. And it was done with that guy that, um, uh, he was born in Africa, but he, he lived here all his life. And he calls himself Don Mantino. <laughs> yeah, okay. Why did he choose an Italian name? I don't know. I don't know. Everybody wants to be Italian, Kimball. You know that. Everybody wants to be Italian. You know, everybody. Maybe not you. <laughs> not me. Yeah. No, not you. I'm a Mongol. Yeah. But I am Italian. <laughs> I'm a Mongol. I'm Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so what? So you uh, you live? I mean, you you live in France now. I mean, I mean, when did you move to France? Okay, okay, okay. You ready for this? Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. I'm a girl of passion and fire. If I can classify, because I study classical music, my mother, you know, put me in the conservatory, and then I went to Singapore with my band from Philadelphia, and we were jazz, and then we became dance, and uh, so. Um, what was your question again? Well, I mean, like you know, I mean, uh, what, what, I mean, what, I mean, how, how did you move to France? I mean, did, I mean, why? Okay, that's what I wanted to yeah. tell you. Okay, the, the the studies in French were all before love. Okay, when I met my first husband in, in Saint Bart, and he was my bass player, and we are, you know, the dream, you know, yep. really, I couldn't have asked for more. A musician, my husband, traveling all over writing songs, and, and there are a lot of songs I wrote with him that we never put out, and mm, that's, that's something else. Um, okay, so uh, that happened, and I was very happy with that, 10 years, and my ex-mother-in-law spoke only French, so I really had to improve or to become fluent in the language. Mm-hmm. Well, he became crazy after 10 years, and so we had to call it a day. I stayed in Paris because I was working with a huge orchestra going to Tel Aviv and Hawaii. And, oh, nice, yeah. Oh, we just traveled all over the place. Nice. And huge private <clears throat> improvised parties. And so that was that. And then I was on the plane from Paris going to Italy, and this guy was standing in front of me, and I told him in French, Sir, please hurry up and put your bag up because I'm tired and I want to sit down. Mm-hmm. And I told him that in French. He turned around and he looked at me. He had a business suit on, and he put his nose up in the air, and I got very angry. Push came to shove. I was sitting next to him. He became my next husband. Oh, what? <laughs> oh man, are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, he played that well. He yeah, played that yeah. well. <laughs> wow. But, 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 but wait, he called me for three months. <clears throat> wow. And, yeah. You know, I mean, I, 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 you know, I was interested in the beginning because I said, I, I live in Paris, he lives in Italy, and he speaks five languages. Wow. So I, and I said, oh, I said, oh, just, you know, he's just trying to be nice. But I know he insisted for three months. Wow, that's that's so amazing. that's, that's why yeah. I yeah. yeah, love you know, that's love phenomenal. is a powerful thing, huh? You know Jeff. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. That's funny. No, I mean, you know, I, you know, the, uh, the, how Kimberly, Kimberly, I mean, she, she knows me through social media, and uh, we, Kimberly and I have never met, but she's always, you know, in my corner. Like she's always been, you know, like kind of rooting for me. I guess for is that is that right? Right, I, I do. Yeah, I am. She, yeah, she's always like pushing me, and, and, and you know, and and, uh, and stuff like that, and I. Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, encouraged me to do things. And sometimes, you know, sometimes that little, that little, that little thing that she puts in, it, it makes me go a little bit further. Little, little you know, push. Yeah. Little yeah. Push. That's what she does. Yeah. And, yeah, so she's, yeah. Yeah. And so what's going on over there? What's going on with the hot sauce and, uh, <laughs> hot and sauce and vault.com? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that much. You know, I mean, uh, uh, same, you know, the same stuff. We're just, you know, we, I mean, 
uh, you know, I mean, first of all, I'm kind of like it's it's really really incredible to have uh, to have you on. I mean, we tried to connect before, you know, a while ago, uh, and then um, you know she was busy, and then well, I was in the transition period, you know, because I'm single again. Ah, okay. Well, and you know, if you if you ever seen, I mean, you know, if you ever seen her perform, it's like unbelievable. Now, you you the video that I have is current, right? It's 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 within the last few months. Yeah. And so. Uh, yeah, yeah, because it's uh, the the disco tech with the now you know we have the the the, the championship for soccer. The energy is fantastic. Yeah, oh, it's wow. unbelievable, man. That's a beautiful place too that you were in. I mean, that's 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 that's. Oh yeah, and that was only the half of it. This place is like four thousand people. That's just the the that part was the restaurant, and after one o'clock we opened the discotheque, and so I would go on the other side and work till five. You know, intervals. Wow. Oh yeah, uh, that's that's incredible. Doing dance songs. Yeah, that's incredible. Hot one. I get started. I can't even sleep before seven o'clock. Yeah. No, I. My adrenaline is so. W- hmm? I, I, call, I called her just before she was going on stage. She was, I go, what are you doing? She goes, I'm, go I'm, I'm, getting, I'm going on stage. I go, all right, I'll let you go. Bang. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, you know, I could see you know, the, the time zone and stuff like that. Everything was everything yeah. was crazy, you know? Everything was crazy. But, I, uh, it's, 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 but, you know, I'm used to it. I and mean, this is like, you know, this is the net. This is cool because hey, this is what I do. Like, um, I've, I've always lived abroad. I always capture, you know, the hours between, like, New York and wherever I am in the world. Yeah, yeah. So do you ever get back to the States? I have my mom. Yep. Do you get back to the States once in a while? Or? Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming in a minute. I'm, I'm going to just I'm trying to work things out. You know, like I said, I was in this transition period. Mm-hmm. Um, so now that's over. And that feels real good, you know. Yep. We really close the door. Yep, yep, yep. So, and uh, we're writing more songs now, and uh, so my man is my music right now. So that's great. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's yeah. I mean, that's that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. I mean, she. Uh, yeah, I just can't. Once again. Yeah, I can't say. Enough. <laughs> I can't. You know, I can't say enough about it. I mean, it's just you know. I mean, it's. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. She's in France, Fantastic. man. Fantastic. She's yeah. in France. I mean, think about that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. yeah. In the next, yeah, in the, in the next album, I don't know, like if it's going to come out, and some songs will be in French, or some some songs may be in Italian, and of course there will be some songs in English, because I've got to get all of me out. You know, this is this is this is what I you know I have I have become this this woman this person, mm-hmm. and there are a lot of things I want to say, but sometimes you know. What, what you have experienced in other countries, it, it doesn't come out in English like you want it to. Right. Because you lived it in another culture. Right, 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 right. So my people are, around me are saying, Kim, just, just be white. <clears throat> just sing. Whatever, you know, whatever language you feel it in, just do it. Uh, do you find that the, the music, um, the, the difference in music between... Um the Italian market and the French market, they're completely different or they're similar. I mean, I think that, personally, I think that it, the Italian, uh, you know, the, 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 they like the disco music a little bit more, you know, I don't know, at a quicker pace. I mean, is that true? No, is they that don't. True? That's you. Is, is that, is, uh, is that? Yeah, they're, they're, I would think that, you know, they're, they're more, um, it's either rock, mm-hmm. pop, or like techno, techno. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, the, the jazz market is very small. Mm-hmm. Um, they do have a salsa market. Now they're starting to expand on a gospel market. Ah, okay. um, France is more like America. Oh, no kidding. No kidding. Oh, big time. Big time. Even the way they 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 act between each other, the, you know, Italian, My you know, French Italian teacher tradition. Um, My friends. There are certain times of the year you have the Pope. There are certain times of the year where just certain things just don't happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Kimberly, uh, the Pope. there was an, uh, uh, my other Kimberly wants to say something. Go ahead, Kimberly. What was that? Oh, uh, hi, took- Kimberly. <laughs> hi, Kimberly. Hey, when I uh, took French, my French teacher told me, though, that the French really don't like Americans. Is that true or no? I can't hear her. So she's, what she, her question is, um, that do, do the French really like Americans? I mean, her, her French teacher told her that her French uh, people in France do not really like Americans. Is, is that true, Kimberly? That's not, ce n'est pas vrai. 
That's not true. Well, is she calling? <laughs> no, I mean that's what that's what everybody. I mean that's what everybody says about you know about France. But no, that's that's wrong. She can't. No, no, no. It's not. You know what they just what they dislike is when um, <clears throat> Americans come and they don't try to speak uh, the language. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, it's no, hard. that makes sense. Yeah, it make, it's it's hard to do that though, Kimberly. To be honest with you, right? I mean, it's French. Is... Well, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying hold a conversation, okay? But like things like bonjour, uh, uh, Au revoir. when you want something in, in this country, it's very important to say um, please and thank you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so when you ask for something, play, you'll get it easier because that's the way, that's a part of the culture. Uh, saying thank you. Uh, that's the part of that when you walk in a room and if you don't know anyone, bonjour. This is just the culture. This is the bonjour. way yeah. they, and bonjour. we don't do we don't do that at home. Well see yeah, yeah, Jimmy could never go there. No. No, J no. you know, they'd end up putting him giving him a fire. Yeah, no, no, not Jimmy. No, 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 no. He's, he's no. no he's not. He's not Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Because he's not yeah, he's, he's not he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's anti social or something. Yeah. You know? He yeah. just, he just belongs in like a corner. Of some sort, you know. And no, yeah. if he sees a pretty girl, French girl, sitting in a room, and he walks in that room, I'm no. sure he'll just instinctively no. say bonjour. No, he might say, well, "Want a piece of my cheese?" Yeah, yeah. something, you know, something stupid like that. You know what I mean? That's you know, smoky Z pack out. Yeah. <laughs> they have 365 different types of cheese in France. Yeah, that's now true. He has to come. I, I love cheese. I, yeah, that's true. I didn't even think about that. They do have a lot of cheese in 306, France. This is his country. 365. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, uh, how many? Uh, how many? Vermont. Vermont has a lot of cheese. Too. Vermont, yeah, but the, the, the French, I believe, that they have a lot of different they, kinds they, of they cheese. They corner the market. Yeah, they mm -hmm. corner the market on cheese. And so, uh, how's the food over there? The Italians too have, have a lot of different. Cheese. Oh yeah, I know that. I would think so. That I know. Yeah, I but I mean, uh, how's the food over there? I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, don't you miss oh, American wow. food? I'm... You don't miss American food at all. Uh, 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 Joe. Yeah. Uh, we have many things in America, but if you look around, what restaurants do you find in America? American Chuck <laughs> Soup. Well, what do we have? What do we have? What do we well, have in America? Well, we have, we have, we have uh, bread Italian No, I mean, they, I don't, they don't have hamburgers uh, and stuff like that. Well, you have Italian restaurants, right, French right. restaurants, French Indian French. restaurants, Greek restaurants. You don't have American restaurants. restaurants. Thailand. Right, but you know what I mean, Kimberly. I mean, you know, you don't you don't miss uh, you know the the traditional American food. I mean, you know, you must miss that. So. Of course, I miss yeah. my Thanksgiving. Yeah, I miss my fried chicken. Yeah, all I that miss stuff. My meatloaf. Yeah, all that. Um, lots my of macaroni food? and cheese. Yeah, <laughs> how about lobster macaroni and cheese? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that's not American. Lo lobster mac. Yeah, mac no, and cheese. Yeah, that? that's right. Is that's, that American? Well, legal seafood. That's you know that's a sponsor. That's not American. Yeah, it is American. It's American. Yep, yep. Uh, legal seafood. Okay. Americans don't have a, a food. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh. I, I, miss, I miss, I miss, I miss my, um, I miss my, uh, what do you call it? Oh, God. Um, my cheesesteak hoagie from Philadelphia. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, the, the, uh, the Gino's um, steak and cheese in, in, um, in Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Philly steak. Oh, Philly steak. Philly steak. Philly, Philly cheese steak. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't have that in uh, uh, in France. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That's and, awesome. And they don't have it. Yeah. And, and uh, what is the great restaurant in New York? Um, uh, New York. There's a there's a ton of them. McDonald's. No, no. Yeah, I like oh, how no. the pizza places <laughs> are great. Yeah, yeah. The other Kimberly yeah. likes pizza. Uh, she uh, actually. Um, New York uh, I think pizza. New York. <laughs> Yeah, well, the other Kimberly, okay. the other Kimberly lives out west, and she likes New York pizza. So, I mean, I really don't know how that will work out. But right. I've been in New York. I had their pizza. Oh, okay. <laughs> like pizza, pizza, pizza. Yeah, yeah. we're no. going to want it tomorrow. Yeah, well, she wants it tomorrow. No, I don't know. She ain't I gonna know. get it. She but, ain't get it. But I, you know, I just want to, I just want to tell you, Kimberly, uh, I want to thank you so much for stopping in, man. I mean, I really, I mean, this is a, this is a great night. You know, I hope you can come back at some other time. And uh, yeah, and I'm looking forward to. Us traveling together, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah. trying to find the right corner for for uh, what's his name for the cheese? Yeah, <laughs> for Jimmy. For Jimmy, Jimmy yeah. right? Yeah. And Kimberly, she's and Kimberly, she's going to find that 
um, first of all, love America. Yeah. And, awesome. And um, <laughs> we're very close. And they just get a little annoyed sometimes if, well, if people don't try just say a couple of words in French. Not a whole conversation. Right. But just a couple of words. Right. But other than that, no, they love America. Right. Right. Well, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Once again, thank you so much for coming by, Kimberly. I, You're I, so welcome. I, I really, really appreciate it. I'm, and uh, I hope some uh, we can come. You know, you come by, stop by uh, again sometime when you get a chance. It's really, really, uh, uh, and, and keep us up. Well, I'll be in the state soon, and uh, the other music I'm working on right now, and a whole lot of other good things. And I wish you all, all, all the best. Thank you so much, Kimberly. <laughs> thank you again. Thank you. Take care. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Appreciate it. Have a great time, guys. Thank you. Good night, Kimberly. Good night, Kimberly. Thank you. Good night, Kimberly. Thank you. Night, thank, Kimberly. You. Bye. thank you. And so that was that was um, Kimberly Covington from from France, and um, she's a phenomenal singer. Um, she her she ranges from gospel to uh, pop to R and B to I mean uh, incredible very and, talented uh, yeah extremely talented um, and uh, very uh, versatile yeah she's she's extremely versatile and she's full of energy I mean full of energy I've, you know and I'll I'll post yeah I'll, I'll post uh, some of her um, her stuff on the uh, the night talk page and you can check her out and. Uh, um, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, but I'm, I'm sure that you will like her and stuff like that. And so we're going to go to a break now, Jimmy. Is that what we're going to do? No, because then we'll take another break. What, 10 minutes later? Uh, Why? We can t- go on for another, t- you know, 10 minutes. We'll go on for 10. So we we'll can go on, on. We can go on for 10. So do you want to have... Um, uh, sure, Robert. Robert, call into that on, call it, sure. uh, on the 917 number, Kimberly, all right? On, on the one that Kimberly line. just got off of? Yes, yes. Yes, because he, I think he's 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 not uh, doing it right or something like that. Um, and then uh, Ia will be on later on. Uh, and uh, I posted um, a picture on uh, the Night Talk feed, and that's uh, a picture of Ia, uh, and that was three years ago. Uh, she has many, many styles, uh, and you would never, well, you wouldn't know that because you, you don't have a computer, but yeah. people have a computer. I have a football. But, I have no, a I know football. that, but um, that, that was her three years ago. I mean, you would have, you would even know who that was um, uh, on, you know. Is she on uh, you're over here? Or? Well, he is in the corner, but she doesn't look like that. Well, she looks like that now, but she didn't look like that before. You know, she looked, uh, she kind of looked like a, one of those um, 50s, um, I'm not, not, you know, like uh, like one of those actresses from long ago. You know, those kind of actresses. Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> Patty Duke. Olivia Newton-John is not from long ago. Well, I'm talking is. about like, you know, well, like, she uh, like. Uh, She's 90. J- uh, Jane, uh, Jane, you know, uh, you know, those kind Fonda? of. Like, Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. No, not, not Jane, Jane Fonda, Fonda, but like, you know, all those, uh, you know, anyway, anyway, you know, those sultry older women uh, that are in the movies years ago. Those Jane kind of, Russell. Yeah, so those, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's right. That's right. The, you know, uh, that kind of look. You know, not that you look that old, but you well, know, I, I don't know. I got to, I got to see this. Well, uh, you know, I mean, I the kid's this. only eighteen. You know, so but she, you know, she has many, many faces. I mean, she does a lot of modeling and stuff like that, and so she has a lot, of, lot of you know, different kinds of looks and things like that. So, and she does a fantastic job. Uh, you know, with with what she does, um, and. I don't know. Uh, we ha- going to have um, Robert Kaplan on, in a, in a, and, and and this is Robert Kaplan coming in. Uh, Ro- hey, hey, Robert. Great talk. No, you have a call. Uh, you know, I mean, to I- accept the call. Press one. Uh, yeah, hello, Robert. Robert? Yes, sir. Uh, how are you? Um, yes. This is Robert Kaplan, and uh, Robert, uh, thank you for calling back. We really appreciate that. Um, Robert's coming in from... Thank fo- you for having me. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and Robert's co- calling in from Florida, uh, and um, Kimberly, can you hear Robert? I mean, can you? I mean, yes, you, I can. I, I okay. can hear him. Okay, but can uh, can you? You can't. You actually can't um, talk to him. Is that right? He probably can't hear me. Okay, so you you can't hear uh, Kimberly. Is that right, uh, Robert? I guess not. Okay, no, sir. So so uh, Kimberly typically does all all the all my. 
uh, all of our um, political and, um, and military um, stuff. So um, interviews, yeah. interviews, and things like that. Because she's she's more intelligent uh, than me. Supposedly, she keeps telling me that. I guess you know. So well, look at her. Well, of course, she, of course she is. She's way more intelligent. Than you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, I didn't well, say I mean, she, you know, She's more up to date. She's more up to date with me, uh, you know, with, with with that stuff than I am. I, to be honest with you, I just, you know, and uh, so I'm, I'm kind of like, uh, how, how do you want to handle this, Kimberly? I mean, I just go let him go ahead and let him talk. If I have a question, I'll uh, I'll let you know. I'll throw it in. So he's okay, gonna... so okay, so um, you know, can you can you tell us a little bit about yourself, and then uh, if if Kimberly has a question, she will uh, chime in on it. Sure. Um, I'm a, I'm a Florida native since 1955. 60 years old, 60 years of age. I have a BA degree in psychology, which I completed in, at age 55. And then I went to the College of Public, I graduated from the University of South Florida. And then I went to the College of Public Health because I wanted, wanted to be a researcher. And I studied biostatistics and epidemiology, but I didn't get to finish school. And um, and um, in, during that interim, I did with the healthcare debacle. One of my professors said I should run for office, and the more I thought about it, I did. So in 2014, I ran for Florida State Representative District 74. Against um, the, a guy that my Julio, um, that my Senator Rubio endorsed him, and there was four guys running, and I came in second place and received 18 percent of the vote for my district, and that allowed me to qualify to become another candidate for U.S. Senator. Wow! So, uh, so now I'm now that I'm a candidate. Um, I've been delegating, which allowed me to delegate all the way through for 2014, 2016. What does that mean exactly? And what, what delegate? What? I could just, it, it means like every, everything about, you know, that I, that I was for and what I was against. And, you know, I kept on delegating everything that I was for and that I was against, like, for instance, water, the water regulation bill and the fracking bill. I delegated against that and indicted, indicted in, the, in the house. I was so very wrong about that. And the reason why I was wrong about that is when I had my first debate with my opponent, he stated, and, and, and this is what most Republicans believe in when it concerns with insurance premiums in municipalities, right? Mm -hmm. So what he, wa what he wanted to do was to place mandates in between insurance premiums and municipalities and wanted, wanted government to control the whole thing. So I knew right then, I said, that's where Julio and I draw the line. <clears throat> I said, it's up to the people to decide whether the whether insurance premiums is to the municipality, not government. <laughs> Let me tell you, sir, I got so... So I got such a political beating over that one because now the water the water regulation bill and the fracking bill did not go through. It died, it died in the House and the Senate. Mm -hmm. So I, that was my pet peeve. And plus uh, other things that I, that I was against, you know. Have you? Have, and, have, and, have, excuse me. Have, have you met? Have you met um, uh, little Marco Rubio? Who? Marco Rubio. Have you who? met him? Marco Rubio. Yes, twice I shot. I shook his hand twice. Oh, yes, sir. okay. I mean, I shook. I shook him. I shook his hand twice. And, which, and we, we were we were really we were your, really good friends at one. You know, we were we, we were on the same page at one time, and just and it's just something happened, and we're not on the same page anymore. So, uh, was you was you wait, what about um um what, what, what Bush was it um Jeb Bush? Have you met him? I never met Jeb Bush. What's your opinion? I never met. Well, what killed him at the what? One of the debates. What killed him when his parents were there, right? Remember that debate? I, I do. Know if you saw I remember. That debate or not with his parents there? But what killed him there was, was, was how he wanted to stimulate the economy 
he wanted to use the German model, right, mm -hmm. to use that. Now, when he said that, sir, I just, my jaw just dropped. And I knew he was done. I knew he was so. That was so, so you, you, you're a politician. How? What? What? What do you think was? Uh, why do you think that Jeb Bush, who was chosen by the Republican Party, could not get any support from anybody? I mean, you know, I mean, it was always like because, lack. Because uh, I'll tell you why. Because he was for Common Core, and and he, he flip flopped on Common Core so badly that you know. It, 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 he left it to the states to decide what. Okay, was, okay, what okay, okay. So, so let me let me, let me just explain something to you. I don't know what Common Core is, and I do. neither does most of my. Li I know you do. You know everything. Uh, I, you know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, you know everything, but no, I know what uh, that well, is. Well, pretty much everything. We're, but and a lot of my listeners. No, we know she does. But uh, and a lot of my listeners don't know what Common Core is. So could you please explain that to us so we we understand it? You know, just you know, briefly, just go over it. My 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 oh, definition yeah. Yeah. my de my definition of common core is this sir is just they're trying to be clear and concise on what I want to try to say to y'all so you can understand it. In layman's terms, so you know everybody can pretty much in layman's term they're trying to change history. They're trying to rewrite history. They're trying to rewrite the Constitution of the United States of America that our forefathers gave us. They're doing it with the freedom of religion, the freedom of religion, and, 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 and the Second Amendment. And also with freedom of speech. They're trying to stifle our freedom of speech. They're trying to take our guns away. And they're trying to take our religious liberties away. But who, who's trying to and do this? They had, who, who's trying to do this, though? The, the, the progress the, the, that's what the progressives want. The Republican want. Party? The, the, is that... No, the Democratic Party. The that's Dem what they're trying to do. So I, I mean, that's that's my interpretation of the whole thing. But Common Core. What happened there, uh, okay, but Common Core. I'm, go ahead, so, go ahead, I'm, go I'm sorry to uh, interrupt go you, but Common. I still don't understand what Common Core means because um, when Donald Trump talks about it, uh, he 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 says that uh, Jeb Bush is for Common Core. Now, I don't even know what that means, what's that, what's and, and probably probably like seventy five percent of my my listeners don't even know what it means. To be honest with you, I I just don't know. It, 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 it means your daughter's going to grow it, 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 up it, 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 to be the today's it, it, college it, student. Let's put it oh. this way. Uh, what, 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 the, what, the, what, the, what the policy is, they're trying to change math. They're trying to change the math standards for for, for, for education. Instead of instead of adding eleven point eleven plus five, you know that's sixteen. You have to go through ten or twelve steps to prove your work in order to get to the answer. I mean, those poor kids, what they have to go through during during in a, in a math in the math class is mind boggling. A math class, I mean, the math problems are very, very difficult. They struggle with the math. And the parents can't help the kids with the homework because they don't know how to do common core math. Oh, is that what it's, that's it's, about? Is that what and even the about? teachers. There's teachers who don't, yeah, who yeah, don't yeah, know how to actually do the problems. That's the, that's the problem. So that's. So it's, 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 I mean, the kids it's can't do the math. They're, the, the, the flood count rate is pretty, pretty high. And it, 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 the standards are not are the, the, the way education is the way it is today. It's not preparing them to do the right the math the right way. No, do you do you, uh, do you believe that anybody's taping your phones or anything like that? I mean, do, do you believe that because you're running for you know for you know office? Do you think anybody's oh, taping your well, phones or anything like well, that? I mean, or taping your well, I I, 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 yes, sir, I believe I've been hacked. Yes, I do. I do believe I've been I I sure do. I believe I've been hacked. Uh, and and, 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 and in, in, in 2014, when I ran for office, and when I ran for office, it, it, it was just a, I just took a real bad political beating. Like for instance, as a writing candidate in the state of Florida, <clears throat> can, can you guys hear me? Yes. As, as a as a writing candidate for the state of Florida, if you qualify in the general elections. Everybody says you, you dis disenfranchise so many voters and you close the polls. But that's not true. Independents 
and Democrats cannot re uh, a Republican a Republican primary is a closed primary. And independents and Democrats cannot cannot vote in the Republican primary. So they keep on they, they keep on saying they, they see they keep on saying this fabricated lie over and over again about write in candidates which is not true because they say a write in candidate could ever win election. Maybe that's so, but at least I, I received, on my first run, I received per, I received 18% of the vote. And, and I'm not bragging, but I thought that was, that, that was a good run. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, 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 the, but, so can you tell me your name one more time? My, my what? My what? My, your, your name, your first name, one more time. My, my name is um, Joe. Um, Joe Rocks, and you're on Night Joe, Talk. Joe. Yeah. Uh, okay. And, and actually, Joe. actually, Kimberly is more versed with this type of stuff. To be honest yeah. with you, I'm just yeah. like winging it. To be honest with you, she she's trying. That's okay. That's okay. You but know. I'm trying. But, 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 but if you look at social media during the during the debates, eighteen percent says that you're a strong candidate. That that was what the eighteen percent. Now it's a forty seven percent is where you win the election. That's the key to winning an election supposedly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the key that's the key number. And the reason being was the reason being I'm saying that is because forty seven percent of the people in my district did not vote for the House seat because right. of Scott's Jerry Madison. Right. Scott's Jerry Bannery, uh, uh, you, know? you, you know that you know so that, for, you, you know that Kimberly's a rabid Republican. She's she's rabid. I know she is. Yeah. I, I, I was a staunch I, I, Joe. I was a staunch Republican, but but, but Rubio, Kimberly's Rubio, rabid. She's 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 not a staunch Republican. She's rabid. You know what I mean? I'm like a bulldog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, well. But, she, but Kimberly's on, is right on the money on, on, on yeah, most she, every she, issue. She is. I she, she, yeah, she, she, yeah she, she says what she... I mean, you don't find too many people like her. She's a straight shooter, and that's what I like about her. You know what I mean? She is, she is, a, she is a straight shooter. Yeah. She's always been straight. Plus, she has she 10 is. guns, so yeah, she would be a straight shooter, right? And, 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 she, and, and, she, and, she, and she is... She, and she is hey, instead of that woman in Texas... And I, I really thank her for that. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, yeah. she... A lot of people don't speak to doing this, you know. Yeah, yeah. So what do I have? What do What do I have to? Uh, what do I have to lose? For, you know, I'm 60 years old. I, you know, I had a good life, you know, and, and, and I did a lot of things in my life, and, right. and, I, and and I'm proud of I'm proud of what I did for Florida State as a candidate for Florida State representative. I'm proud of what I accomplished, and 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 I, and I, I couldn't give it up, Joe. Right, I yeah. just could not give it up. Yeah, well, I mean, well, Kim me, Kimberly, you got Kimberly you in your corner, so when she's, uh, she, you know, she pushes all the Republicans for sure, right? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, I mean, so, yeah. well, she feels the same. But, but the thing, the the, the comment, that's the education, that's the educational aspect of that's why it's Yeah, actually, okay? yeah. See, actually, and, Kimberly's on TV right now, and she actually looks like a Republican in a way, doesn't she? You know, <laughs> no, I don't look like a lip card. No, no, no. <laughs> That's funny. No, she's always in a blue You're suit. Guy, you know, she's yeah. in a blue suit. You know, uh, with a you know one of those college dress on and stuff like that. You know, the, the, you know. It's summertime. Uh, Kimberly, you got air conditioning. Cut the bullshit, okay? Really, cut the bullshit. Kimberly, uh, you're awesome. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, I mean, uh, I uh, you know, I, I, so I mean, but. You know, I want to first of all, I want to thank you for for stopping by. I mean, uh, and uh, calling in. I mean, uh, unless Kimberly, do you have any other other questions you might ask ask him? I just am wondering what are the odds of him being elected over Rubio? So, what do you what do you think of what do you think of your um, uh, well, Marco Rubio is not. I, I don't think he's that popular in, in Florida anymore. But what do you think your odds are? I mean, you know, realistically, in, in, to be to, to be um, in the next senator. In the next senator. Uh, realistically. Uh, if, 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 don't say. Look at. Listen. Don't sell I, yourself if, short. You know. Don't sell yourself no, short. No. Yeah. No. No. I. I. I'm not selling myself short. Yeah. I. My. The, the, the problem I'm having, though, is marketing my campaign. I'm not putting any signs up this year because Florida State Representative. I, I spent so much money on my campaign. I'm not going to spend any more money. And people. And, and I. And I can't. And people realized that you know I was right, and they they encouraged me to run. So everybody knows who, 
everybody is mm-hmm. going to mm-hmm. basically does this. Yes. Going to so, I mean, you know, you know where, where, in, if, in other words, if somebody wants to make a co- can, uh, campaign donation to yes. you, I mean, where would they send that to, or how would they how would they go about doing that? How you know? I mean, well, I would. I try. I, I, and the, 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 you know, the thing with that is, is, is you, you can you can send it to my PO box number, but I tried doing that. I never I never got a positive response. <laughs> but, but but when when I when 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 I lost my campaign in 2014 and came to send the place. People were coming to me, oh, we're so sorry, we should, we should have voted, you know, you should, should have voted for you. So right. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you on that and my face. So if I, if I could just, like, work with my, you know, all you have to do is write my name in under writing, please, on the tenant, because my name will not physically be on the ballot. Right, so, you know, for, for, for you people that are listening to us, um, in uh, in Florida, and um, specifically, what part of Florida are you, uh, Robert? Again, I, I, I'm in Sarasota County on the West Coast. Okay. Okay. So, um, c- can you um, please um, consider writing in uh, Robert Kaplan for um, for a state senator? Is that right, uh, Robert? St- no, not, not not state senator, but U.S. Senator. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, U.S. senator. Like I said, not a, I'm not, I'm not, not, I'm not as bright as Kimberly. <laughs> she'll no. she'll tell me that over and over again. And, I'm sure. and that, that's a writing. You know, it's right? a writing. Ca- right. Yeah, you. So that's you, a right. That's a that's the key. That's the key to my whole campaign. Right. And so I, you, I couldn't believe I reached. Yes, yeah, so, I, I couldn't believe I received eighty percent. Right. So if you if you please can r- write in a Robert R O B E R T Kaplan K A P L A N uh, for uh, like Florida, for yeah, yeah, for for um, for U- U.S. Senator in uh, in Florida, um, I think you'll do a great job. Uh, and uh, Kimberly should be his uh, manager. Yeah, Kim- no, Kimberly can be told, his manager. I, 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 I told Kimberly before I got under radio show. Yeah, this is up. Uh, it's for the state of Florida, but I'm representing. You guys too. No, no, we no, we, we I, I, yeah. no. Well, actually, the coach here um has really? a, has a trailer down in Coco Beach. So, right? I mean, is that right? No. So, yeah. well, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Right there. So, I mean, he, he's going to keep your taxes down. Yeah. That's what he wants show. to do. We're 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 in really bad shape. Uh, that's actually, yeah. coach's coach's trail is in bad shape too, isn't it down there? No, it's a good shape. Oh, I, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just. I, I went through the whole thing. It's breaking it brand new. All the wood, hardwood floors. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. No, I didn't know trailers have hardwood floors. I, I, oh yeah. I thought they were all vinyl. You know, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a mansion, I, I, but it's, I, I, what was that, That's Robert? Terrible. Sorry, what, Robert? No, I, I just want to tell you guys, I just think I can make, try to make a dis- difference from everybody. I think I, you can. I think I, you you come highly recommended to us by Kimberly, and um, Kimberly knows her um, her stuff. Believe me, you know what I mean. You sure. know she, she. I know she does. Yeah, she she knows her and, stuff. And She's I, awesome. I, 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 I I'll make a promise with I make a promise. I can't even call her Kim. I have to call her Kimberly. I feel like I'm in school, but yeah. I, but, I know. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> But but I'll make I'll make a statement. All I can do is my best, and I would not put any of my constituents or any of my people in harm's way. And I wouldn't pass a bill that would raise your taxes. That's, that's awesome. Fine. That's the that's way awesome. I look at it. You, um, would you com- Kate, would right. you consider Kimberly for us a cabinet post of some sort? Oh yeah, definitely. Right? You know, Absolutely. Like, so, yeah. uh, I got, I got go. a lot of people with my for it. Yeah, there you go. There you you go. know, I, I I got a lot of people. Yeah, in my quarter, I got. I, 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 I would just like to drive your car around. That's all I want to do. Just drive a car, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just drive a car. That's it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Drive, I'll drive Kimberly's yeah. car. Yeah, I'll drive Kimberly's yeah. car. Yeah, Robert, go ahead. Go ahead, Robert. So this yeah. is the deal. I need positive advisors to help me with this. Well, not only with this campaign, but I need positive advisors to keep me in line and tell me where, where I'm wrong. What? Yep. People have people have to tell me that I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, you got to correct me. Well, That's all I ask. Well, uh, okay. Yeah, one thing about Kimberly, she'll always tell me she, uh, you're, oh, you're wrong, oh, yeah. and she always tells me I'm wrong all the she, time. She won't hesitate. No, she, she, will, not she hesitate. will not hesitate to tell you you're wrong because I'm always wrong, pretty much, right? So basically, <laughs> you know. I'm not saying you're yeah. wrong. But anyway, I, 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 I just want to tell everybody to. Um, Please uh, write in uh, Robert Kaplan, R-O-B-E-R-T, 
K-A-P-L-A-N, and that's for a Florida state senator to replace Marco Rubio. No, Florida, he is, no, I'm sorry, I'm Florida, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Again, for, uh, again Florida, Florida, okay. Florida U.S. Senator right. to replace uh, Little Marco. Right? Oh, oh my. Yeah, I know, and I have small hands too. You know. Uh, you have small hands too. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, but anyway, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a I'm a jazz piano player too. Oh, awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, anyway, Robert, uh, thank you so much for calling in tonight. We really appreciate that, and we hope that um, yeah, you can, you can go thank running. You for, yeah. Thank you for having, thank you for asking that question about Common Core, and I hope I explained. No, it. you did, you did. I, you know, again, like I said, I'm not, I'm not. Too hip on um, politics as Kimberly is, but I, you know, and a lot of my listeners, so, so, a lot so, of my so, listeners so. that probably don't haven't graduated eleventh grade, uh, so you know, dropouts pretty much. Third grade, sixth, 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 sixth huh? grade. whatever. All right, sixth grade. Grade. Sixth, grade. sixth grade graduate. We don't all have pools in our backyard. All right, good. What was that? <laughs> You know, but what I want you to do is, is what I want you guys to do is Google a Common Core math problem and see if you can do it. Man. Okay, awesome, awesome. It's, it's, that, that's all I ask, and then and then, you know, then you can call me and, and understand why I said it. Awesome. The way I did. Awesome. Okay. awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for thanks so, thank so you, much Robert. for uh, coming in. Uh, actually, Kimberly just uh, said thank, thank you. For, thank you for uh, we've yep. got to take our country back, man. Well, yep. Let's yep. Let's get Florida back. Bring it back to Disney. I pay. Right. I pay taxes in Florida. Well, well, so. Yeah. I mean, uh, actually, well, coaches in Florida. Florida. Yep. I pay taxes. I'm, I'm yeah. there. Yeah. So, coach pays his taxes down there too. You know, um, what? Okay. What kind of taxes you pay on the trailer? Yeah. For me. Oh. No, because Florida doesn't have any state income tax. You it's, know that, right? Yes, I do know that. Okay. Sure they do. That's, that's why no, state income tax. Right. That's why. State income tax. Correct. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. All right. You take care of yourself, Robert. No, am, I, am, am I off the air now, sir? Uh, well, you're still on the air. Um, but, yeah, but, you know, when you hang up, you'll be off the air. But thank you so much again, uh, Robert, for, for – All right. For, thank, thank you for having me. Yeah. Keep and you, in touch. Yeah. If you, you, have, if, if you have – if you have any questions, if you have any questions regarding my campaign, please ask and I will deliver. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much again. Uh, we really appreciate you calling. In. Thank you so much, Robert. All right. Thank God you. bless you. you take it. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. And so that was Robert Kaplan, and he's running for uh, uh, U.S. Senator, U.S. Senator, uh, the U.S. Yeah. Senator of um, Florida, uh, of the state of Florida. And uh, against uh, Marco Rubio, and that's a, he's a writing candidate, so his name is Robert Kaplan, R-O-B-E-R-T, Kaplan, K-A-P-L-A-N. Uh, and so um, write him in. Let's, let's get it done. I'll do it. I'm gonna, I mean, write right straight him in. You know, I mean, it's not a big deal. Wait, he wants to cut. He wants to cut. Uh, you know, cut taxes, and I'm all for that. Well, you know, Kimberly, if, if they start cutting everything, we all can't. We, we well, everybody like well, wants to put a pool in their backyard, right? Here, so here's, I, I, I have, have a pool in my backyard. Here, here's the problem: we need to cut all the Muslims. You know, cut all their funding, cut all the uh, illegals yeah, coming you in. You can't say that. You can't say that on the air, can right. you? Yes, I can. So. Oh, okay. All right, she can. Oh, we're, we're gonna, it's no, freedom she, of speech. She, she, uh, Are you not going to Loretta Lynch lately? She, well, you know, is it Loretta Lynch like why, your why, best why friend? Why are we picking up Muslims? Why well, don't we... Because she speaks her mind. You know I, what I mean? think I should be illegals, too. I yeah. said all illegals. Yeah, okay. she, she, okay. she, you know. But the other ones aren't coming to here to kill us. Just the Muslims are. Right. She, she, oh, she you know, person. she actually, you know. Muslim yeah, person. She says I the I have a lot of friends that have been killed by Muslims. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know. She, I don't I mean, see she, Mexicans coming over and killing my friends. You don't no. Know, you don't know that. No. Yes, well, no. they are killing Americans. Okay, yes, that. there are, but. A lot of Muslims have killed my personal friends. Well, uh, yeah, Kimberly's uh, including Kim Hillary and uh, and Obama. Obama. Yeah. <laughs> so, Obama. Yeah, uh, but well, wait, 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 wait. No, but Kimberly, no, you know, like she's she's you know that she that's what she leads a lot of that stuff. She understands all that stuff. See, we don't. Do you know what I mean? We we don't understand that stuff. Yeah, we don't. No, we. They're don't. not coming here to you know immerse ourselves in our culture. They're coming here to take over. They want to. They reproduce. They want to take over. Yeah, but who's they going to reproduce with? Right. right. Who's, who's they going to reproduce with, Kimberly? They, oh, with, with our women. They've already said. They said pretty oh, soon no, our daughters no. will but be wearing burkas. But, but what happens if they don't like them? That's what I'm saying. They've been raping they lots they of people. If you know, uh, all these countries now that they've accepted lots of those that immigrants, they're raping their women. But, 
You're not following me, though. But an American woman, I don't think, would go after them. Of course not. Oh, no, no way. Not in a million years. Well, because they wouldn't wear not cologne. Not in a million years. They don't okay. wear cologne. They okay. don't even I shower. I did have a, I did <laughs> have a friend a one time marry one, like, 20 years ago. And, you did? And she could never... She could never, my friend could never go over to that country because she told me she couldn't eat dinner at the table with the men. She had to ride in the back seat. And I'm like, why would you marry a man like that? I kind of like that rule, to tell you the truth. That's retarded. <laughs> it's a pretty good rule. It's a pretty good rule if you think about it. Can women That's talk? What the liberals want. Are you a liberal See, now? That's what they want. No, I, no, no, no I'm, not a, I'm not a liberal. No, but I kind of like, I kind of like, you know, I, I kind of like the rule. No, I, I kind of like the citizens? rule. Second class citizens? You want women to be treated as second class citizens? No, oh, I don't, no, I don't want that. No, I, I don't want that. But what I, I, I do like is I like the idea that, you know, women know, have to know their place. Oh, yeah. Right? Definitely. You won't. She'll never know her place. You know, she'll always be up front. And if she don't like it, she'll shoot you. That's it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> like a, yeah. as she would say, like a muscle. Yeah. <laughs> she'll just say, I'm not sitting in the back seat. Blow your way. Right. Yeah. That's oh, pretty God. much it. <laughs> Next. Right? I'm actually driving the car, thank you. Yeah, that's right. I know. Yeah, I never thought of that. I never thought about it. But, I mean, um, yeah, I, uh, again, um, that was Robert Kaplan. Um, he's a write-in candidate for uh, – for, uh, the U.S. state senator uh, and to, oh. try to replace uh, Marco Rubio, who he has 18%, so um, let's get him up That's there. a pretty good number. Hey, it do is... you guys think that uh, Loretta Lynch was doing the hanky-panky with Clinton yesterday at the airport? What do you mean? What? You know, the hanky-panky. You know, he likes to have sex with all these women. Who does? I don't, no, Loretta, L- L- who is, I don't even know who she is. Is she any good? She's the Department of Justice. She's the She's Attorney Depart- General. Yeah, Attorney General. And you like to have sex with all these women? I don't know anything about that. Clinton oh, does. Clinton yeah. waited at his airport. Well, he stopped at Arizona, and he waited 30 minutes to meet with Loretta Lynch, Attorney General, and they met on her plane for 30 minutes on the tarmac. And, that, the... and his wife is being investigated by the FBI, and she is the one in charge of the investigation. Doesn't that smell a little fishy? Yeah. <laughs> she be... I... You're not supposed to do is put you put yourself in any position to where you can look like something is going on. Like, and or something did. is inappropriate. That's right. Well, so you think... You know, so I have no problem with two women. And they said, out. oh, we were talking about our, our We're grandkids. talking about oh, what is wrong with two women. We're not he, talking about two oh, well, women. Okay. Loretta we're talking Lynch, about Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, yeah. he could Bill be a Clinton, woman. Bill, I don't know. Bill Clinton, that's two women. Bill Clinton met with Attorney Hillary. General Loretta no. Lynch. You thought well, you were talking about Hillary Clinton. Right. Well, no, it happened, was a Bill even Clinton. if even who if she cares? did meet with what? her, who cares? What getting it on? Get it on? Who cares? Who freaking cares? Because the reason why is his, her his wife is being investigated by the by FBI. By the FBI, and right. he's in charge of that Guess investigation. What? Guess what? You're getting investigated by the FBI. We're all getting investigated by the FBI. Well, well they, they, get, they can investigate me. I got nothing. That's it. I got nothing. I got nothing. We're all getting investigated by the FBI. Are you shitting me? But you didn't violate the law. You guys are all up for that. I have a private email server. Everybody's investigated by the FBI. Yeah, we're all. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, you know what? Everybody wants to sit there and disregard it because you you know what? You're going to end up voting her in, and then when you find out four years from now that she's ran another term or what we have, and it's too far to fix it, and you'll be like, holy shit, what did we do? Well, holy I mean, shit. again, I don't really follow the politics like Kimberly does. I, I'm not I really hip on I'm it. I don't, I, don't really, I don't really follow it, to be honest with you. I, I follow, like, um, the entertainment news where... Um, I follow uh, sports. Um, Caitlyn Jenner, follow what she's doing. Well, I, I, I mean, I follow that. I mean, that's kind of like, you know, what I follow, you know. Um, I follow, like, um, high-low skirts, you know, things like that. That oh, type yeah. of, you know. Actually, Joe doesn't, I, I think they're cute. Joe doesn't like them. No, I don't like them at all. I'm sorry. How about the, um, the uh, teenage attractive? American... Uh, oh, they, that's right. That's right. So what about this now, Kimberly? Because you, you have a daughter yeah. that, you know, um, I think she's uh, now Miss Teen between Miss ten, 14 and nine, uh, 18, I believe. So uh, when they do pageants now, they don't do any swimsuit no stuff anymore. No swimsuit stuff. They're going to wear these... Um, uh, unitards. Sport, they sport, sport wear. They wear sportswear. Yeah. I that? know. They wear the sportswear stuff. It's yeah, retarded. Sportswear so stuff. what do you think about that? I... I don't like it. I think they should go back to the swimwear. Why? Because I think that we're letting the left and liberals and libtards and Muslims dictate what we do in the United States. Here we go with the Muslims again. Ne- next, next they'll be wearing a burqa and they'll be like, oh, yeah. she's the cutest one with that burqa on. <laughs> Would well, you like the Muslims, <laughs> Coach? 
No, no, uh, he's not saying that. But you know, I mean, it's kind of like it's kind of like weird that they all of a sudden do that. Oh, bingo! That's my point. Well, that's you go all, right. all of a sudden, all of a sudden, nah, 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 all of a sudden, did it's you bingo, have the one who had their bikinis in the wad who didn't like the bikinis? You know, oh no, and that's why. Well, uh, how about how about the but if you do this America, them to wear wear burkas when they get their driver's license photo taken? Yeah, I'm against that, that too. Hell, I can't even wear. You can't even wear glasses no, I, I, or a hat I can't or agree anything. With that. I don't know. I mean, you agree or disagree? What? You agree what? that it's okay they should wear a burqa? No, I, I, I agree that they shouldn't. Um, first of all, don't get a driver's I, license. Look, listen, I don't really care who pe who people you know pray to or whatever. Burka. Burka. I don't really care. That's I don't really give a fuck about that. But what exactly. I'm saying exactly. is that they pray to Satan. <laughs> whoever, I don't really care. But what I'm saying is those people that walk around in those. Bl Black things with the slits on, they scare the kids, the American little kids, the little kids. I see a yes. couple kids crying about that because they thought they were monsters, they even right? They scared my daughter. Yeah, my they, are not, they should not be able to walk with those stupid things on, okay? That's it. It's they not look like, Halloween. Uh, for the simple fact, they could be carrying a strap, a bomb or something oh, like sure. that. Oh, sure. Oh, definitely. Yeah, no, I, really. I, no, I'm serious. And hide the weapon. And free. Uh, no, I mean, I, you know, if you want to live here and walk around like us, you could do that. If you want to come with a long sleeve shirt or whatever, but don't, I mean, but, but don't come with the muscle yeah. and the yeah. yeah if, you if you want to walk, walk, yeah. If you want to walk around walk like that, go us. walk around walk. where you came from. Right. What are you walking around here go for? Back. Yeah, go, go back. back. You, why, why are you walking around here? Why That's not right. That's not right. Right? Definitely. We should ask Kimberly because in France they they're they're banning the burqa in France. Kimberly would probably know know that. You know, yeah, they are. Yeah, you're right. They are, and and yeah, and also in Italy, they're burqa. They're they're not allowing. And I guarantee you, they're going to start banning it. Right. I mean, that's not right. I mean, I don't even understand what what that means. Those things. I don't either. I haven't. I haven't. I mean, unless unless you know the the broads are hideous, right? They're probably like fours or fives. Is that their religion? I don't know why they why why They're do they probably wear those goats under there? Yeah, why do they wear it? Why do they wear that, Kimberly? Anyway, why do they wear? It? Um, because. They they're not supposed to show any skin, expose any skin, or supposedly it's a sin. But yet Why? Muslims can because Muslims can screw a goat though. That's okay what, in their religion. What about their hand or something like that? Yeah, yeah. You, you can't know? not even their wrist. They can't show their hand, their wrist. That's why there's these Muslim nurses in well, hospitals. They don't want to wash their hands because they can't expose them. Well, guess people. what? It's about time they grew up and said, "Screw you." I'm going to do what I got to do. I guess so. You know, I, I, I said, screw you. Like I said, I, I don't really care who, what? what they worship or whatever. Right. But uh, right. what I'm saying is, you know, those women are scaring little kids. Right. Wasn't there a time in this country that your woman couldn't vote? Are you yes. a woman? Can you vote now? Right. Uh, right. Yeah, that's so, true. Women. Like Joe says, hey, I, I mean, religion's religion. Believe what you want. Believe, but covering your skin, covering your face, that's bullshit. That's a lot of bullshit. That's a lot of bullshit. Right, it's all that. It is. Yeah, that's, that's bullshit. bullshit. And I, and I, you that's know, great. I got nothing to do with your religion or anything else. That's right. bullshit. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, and I typically you know, don't I typically don't talk about religion or uh, politics. I really don't know that much about it. No, no I, I, don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know about it. The only person who could really is an authority on that would be Jimmy. Jimmy. To think about it, what's he authority? Well, on? He, well he's he's his authority on pretty much everything. No, right? he's, he's he's authority on. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What are you authority on, Jim? Jim, pot. I give up. Uh, right, pot. Swap, swap. No, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you I probably give up. I'm just jealous. asking you a question. Please. Like, what do you what do you specialize in? What is you, what is your like forte? Pot. I pot. told you guys. Pot. I would say staring please. out my window. See, I would say swinging. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, I saw the perfect show for you. You gotta watch. Oh man! I, I saw know. I saw Ted too yesterday. Yes, that's funny. Oh, oh I laughed very, my ass off. That that is funny. That is when, funny. When he was when he was puffing that dick in the back seat, what? I cried. That is funny. The, 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 the that freaking, is, that is funny. It was a it was a oh. dick bong. Yeah. Well, was it, you know. Hold on. Um, hold on. Uh, well, I mean, we came to another end of the show, um, Jimmy. Uh, what about Ia? It's all what about water. her? You talk through it. I, I, look is, at, is it a new I, thing? I, is it a new uh, new, new uh, No, piece? it's incomplete. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, Ia's, uh, Ia's uh, piece is not, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll re-air Ia's piece by itself. Um, that's what we'll do. We'll be uh, in, uh, in the Night Talk feed. Um and we apologize for uh, all the EA fans. Definitely. Um, Definitely. 
because we know um, I know that um, that's a pretty popular piece. Uh, East piece, very popular. We get caught up in the moment, right? That's what and we just got got caught up in the moment with all these different people on. We had Robert Kaplan, right. we have Kim, right. Kimberly Covington from, direct from France, which is friggin' awesome. That's oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. That was great. That okay, was great. I mean, you know, that was great. Yeah, uh, and uh, she's a class act, and uh, I'm a big fan of all her music, all the music that she does, and I will po- post some of her music on on the Night Talk feed, um, uh, and you can check it out. Um, and I would like to thank, uh, again, I would like to thank uh, Joyce at 132 Ferry Street. Um, she did a great job on Dina and, uh, you know, on her hair, right? Uh, Dina's hair. Mm-hmm. You, know, she, you know, she fixed her up nice. Yeah. And then, um, you know, Dina is uh, Joe Rock's approved, so um, check her out at 132 Ferry Street in Everett. Um, as well as um, uh, Lyft, um, a car service that, um, you know, you if you... Download the app and punch in um, the code. It's on the Night Talk feed. You got fifty dollars worth of free uh, rides. Oh wow! Yeah, that's, that's cool. Good. I mean, I don't think they serve up here, but and it's L Y F T. Yeah, yeah, it's L Y F T. That's correct. And then also uh, legal seafood. It's not fresh if it isn't legal. Oh, you know, great. Well, legal yeah, legal I mean, great, right. that's that's who it is. And so um, those three. Oh, and uh, as well as E twenty four and our and our communication partner is Ring Central. And so thank you everybody uh, for joining us this weekend. And I'd just like to say a couple words. If you see something, say something, and have a safe and happy 4th of July. Very good. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.